Welcome to this episode of STR News Live. I'm Andy McCaskey from STR News, where we look at many of the challenges and opportunities that enterprise IT managers and uh, specialists face in their day-to-day -day responsibilities. And this is the second episode of uh, a look at video conferencing and how it's used and deployed to within the enterprise. And uh, our guest today is uh, Rafi Anwar, who is joining us from LifeSize in Austin, Texas. And uh, last time we talked about how uh, cloud computing and uh, dedicated uh, room size systems are kind of coexisting. In fact, that's really maybe the best way to think about it. Where does cloud fit in in the overall architecture? Yeah, there's a lot of excitement around going on um, about cloud video conferencing. And you know, the, the video systems that you have in your conference rooms, those will always be there. Those will remain. There's, there's value to have those dedicated pieces of equipment in the conference room. The question is really, what do those connect into? Determining which way to go depends on a lot of different circumstances that the customer might have. But certainly, cloud has a lot of promise because of the ease of deployment, the ease of management, and the low risk involved with a cloud supported model. What does it take to get up and running in a uh, cloud-based solution? A cloud-based solution, it really, it's very easy to get up and running. Uh, it doesn't take much. You don't need to be uh, a real technical expert. You don't need to have the networking experience, the IT experience, the video experience that's traditionally associated with deploying an on-premise video infrastructure solution. So it's as simple as for, for most providers, signing up for an account and uh, calling in from your video systems or s installing software on your Mac or PC or mobile devices in order to participate in the video calls. So it really is very much a self-service model around the cloud. The barrier to entry, specifically around the complexity and the knowledge required has come way down with these cloud solutions versus the traditional on-premise as well as the payment model is also much more attractive for many firms because you don't have a large upfront capital expense that you have with traditional on-premise solutions. Instead, it's a subscription offering. You can pay as you go. It's a much lower risk. You're not signing up uh, for some big investment where if for some reason you're not satisfied, you know, you're stuck with this equipment. Cloud is a much lower risk way to go about video uh, and it's suitable for lots of different customers. Uh, I imagine that uh, people come in with a lot of uh, preconceived notions of uh, as far as what it's going to be like and what benefits they're going to receive. Are there certain areas where they uh, might tend to be, say, unrealistic? You know, I think there are certain areas that people may have some unrealistic notions of what is the cloud. So if you look at on-premise video solutions today, they're very feature-rich. They're customizable, they're highly secure, they can do a lot of things, they're very powerful platforms. Contrast that with what's available in the cloud. The cloud still allows you to have a video call and still, still allows you to have you know, great interaction and collaboration with other people. However, it doesn't have that same customize of, custom, customization options that uh, you have in on-premise offerings. You know, because a cloud is by definition, something that is more of a one-size-fits-all kind of tool, you're not, you don't have exposure to all of the knobs that you do in an on-premise solution where you can go and you can change all the different settings and you can control it and you can integrate it with all of your different systems. So you can integrate it with your voice systems and you know, all of your different backend systems can tie into it. Uh, you, know, you don't get that same customization. You don't get that quite that same um, feature richness in a cloud solution. So you know, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for the base level feature set, then both, both on-premise and cloud can deliver that. But if you're looking for a lot of the customization options, if you're looking for the feature depth and you know, some of the more sophisticated capabilities, then really that's something that you don't have in the cloud solutions today that's only available on-premise. Yeah. So it sounds like those may be some shortcomings that are uh, associated with a, a cloud implementation. Are there particular risks that uh, people should be concerned about? Risks? Well, you know, again, it kind of depends on the business. So with an on-premise solution, you manage it. 
So determining uptime is really your responsibility. So how reliable is your network? How confident are you are that you have everything configured properly? You, what your users expect in terms of uptime? With cloud, it's somebody else's responsibility. And for the most part, uptime is really is great. But you know, in the instance that there is downtime, there's not much you can do other than call the vendor and say, the service is down, you know, what's going on, I need to have a call. Um, so you do lose a certain amount of control with the cloud, but it's somebody else's headache when the service goes down. And the people who are managing it are also experts at managing it. And you know, they have more experience than most on-premises uh, teams might have in terms of keeping a video deployment up and running and knowing all the different uh, factors that go into making sure that it's as highly available as possible. Well, I think that's one of the things we're going to be talking about in the next session of uh, determining what reference architectures uh, are recommended in certain situations and how you begin to look at the decision of implementing a video conferencing system, video conferencing system that, uh, that is, in fact, cloud-based. Where are some places that uh, people might want to begin to look uh, to learn more information and also uh, perhaps a, a Twitter uh, presence for yourself or for life size. Sure. Yeah, there's lots of great information on the web. Of course, life size, we have a lot of great information on our website. So if you can come to lifesize.com, uh, we have resources on our website to help guide customers through the uh, things that they should be considering when uh, choosing between on premise versus cloud. So lifesize.com is a great place to go. Uh, also, you can reach, to, reach out to us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at LifeSizeHD. And you know, we're happy to answer any questions that people have uh, as they make this decision. All right, well, Rafi, thanks very much for uh, joining us here today. I know that, uh, that it's, it's a big decision that the enterprise needs to look at, but the uh, benefits uh, are in the long run certainly, certainly worth it. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, also, thanks to you no folks problem. for joining us uh, here today. I uh, look forward to seeing you next time on SGR News Live.